We know now, many years experience by developmental experts, getting a kid to sit up and walk earlier, the outcomes for the rest of the kid's life are greatly improved. Is this correct? Yes. So if you could have a device that would take any child that had difficulty walking or a technique, you should try your best to do it. I happened to deal with someone from Chile that got kids to sit up and walk that couldn't. His uh, success rate is 70%. It's a different type of physiotherapy. I was very impressed with that. Then I had a kid with Down syndrome, and we saw a slow walking device. And the studies proven shows that we'll get the kid to walk at least six months to a year earlier. Why are we having interference to do the right thing? You understand that one? Well, it goes back to, again, the bureaucracy. There's all of these regulations and bureaucracy, and there's all this budget consciousness. And as you know, a lot of these decisions would actually, in the long run, be uh, financially sound to do. But, yeah, the uh, it's very tough to get what kids need, and um, it takes a lot of work on the part of the parents, tremendous devotion to, to advocate and even to bring other professionals in. And sometimes I'm very upset because uh, I, I have to refer people to law firms who charge five and ten and fifteen thousand dollar retainers just to get a kid into a school where he can actually learn. 